Notice that all the wealthy house. Notice that all the wealthy houses have signs for. Uh, I don't know. The wealthy neighborhoods have signs for Kamala Harris. The middle class, the hardest working people, have signs for Donald Trump. Eh, maybe it will be a tight race. But I think this election is going to be a slobber knocker. You'll know who won probably by midnight of November 6. Hmm. Or shortly after 11 p.m. of November 5th. I am not voting for Marianne Butterscone, Buttonscone. She's a kiss ass for Governor Hotchell. North George Street. And we're never going to make it. Look at the colors. <laughs> A week ago, most of the trees in Rome were green. <laughs> I like to have one of these big pine trees in my yard, but the city would probably cut it down. That's quite a house. I believe this is uh, North Madison. We're coming up to. There's that skull. Clouds are pretty cool. Huh. They keep on lowering the percentage of rain. First they said uh, 60 percent, then it's 50. Right now I think it's down to 40 percent. I like the vine. Pretty sharp. Like I said, you would think that New Rome, New York, or Oneida County would get the money to put an entire stadium where the current Rome Free Academy High School is, instead of taking them by bus into Rome, where the old RFA school used to be because the stadium is still located here. I mean, Governor Hotchell is going to pay out a few billion dollars for a Buffalo Bills football stadium, courtesy of us. But <laughs> she talks about education, woke education, and it, she doesn't want to give Rome a new stadium. <laughs> That's kind of sad. I think Rome should have an enclosed Dome Coliseum for a stadium. This is the uh, maintenance building for the stadium. 
if I can ever get off this sidewalk. Here we go. Ooh, they paved that. I always like this street. Okay. Coming down. All right, bye. Like I said, you think they'd build a new stadium, but maybe in about 20 years. <clears throat> Sorry for the fence. Kind of hard to get it up off the fence. <laughs> The colors appear better when the, uh, this is uh, North Madison. The colors appear better when the sun is out, but unfortunately the GoPro camera records better when it's cloudy. Something to do with the processor. North Madison Street. They better hurry up and get the siding on that house. <laughs> I like the Toyota. Now that's a big tree. Wow. If it looks a little oval shaped to you, again, I'm using widescreen. Try to get everything in. <laughs> this is a road that could use some paving. It's raining. Our hood. Huh. This is uh, Carroll Street, West Sycamore. I like the color of that house. Wow, look at those ferns. Those are nice cedars. Huh. Well, I was going to go to all these, but now it looks like I'm going to have to go to save a lot. Simply because it's only a few hundred feet from my house. Nice colors. Nice houses on this street. I think I did this area when there was uh, about 10 inches of snow on the ground. <laughs> this little piggy lives in a brick house. <laughs> There's a nice color. Wow, that's brilliant.
get ready folks because I guarantee you it's going to be a very cold winter. Craig Street and Walnut Street. See what I mean? All the rich houses, the nice houses, the, the upper middle class, I guess you would say, in the city have Harris uh, campaign posters. And all the ones that are the hard working class people have Trump posters. <laughs> Like I said, maybe it will be a tight race, but <laughs> this is Roser Terrace. <sighs> nice house. I like their garage. <laughs> but uh, uh, I think the presidential race will be pretty much decided by 11 p.m. November 5th. I really don't care who becomes president because, well, you as a person have no power over what they do, no matter who gets in the White House. But as far as the state goes, I'm hoping the Democrats don't seize a lot of control in New York State. Hi. I like the red. Jesus, that'll scare you. Check out that tree. Wow. Imagine if Perry Street had some trees like that. Wow, that'd be cool. Okay, I'm on Cedar and Roser Terrace. I'm going up Cedar. I don't know why. I got nothing else to do. What's that famous line from Clint Eastwood? I got nothing better to do. The outlaw, Josie Wales, he says, uh, the the actor says, why are you doing this, Josie? Josie says, because I got nothing better to do. <laughs> That's a nice style house. I wouldn't mind having one of them, you know, to own a house and then rent it. See, there's another Harris poster. This whole neighborhood, which is basically middle to upper middle class, it's all Harris. <laughs> all bunch of Democrats. And that's what scares me. People like uh, this Marianne Buttonscone or Scon in Oneida County. I mean, you think she would uh, get Governor Hotchell to release more money for Rome, New York, and she doesn't. She just carries on the woke policies that Governor Hotchell wants passed. Uh, I don't think there's any legislation whatsoever that Buttonscon has not signed or approved of. This is uh, Chestnut Street. Oh, no. <laughs> All Democrats have a fence. <laughs> they always talk about, you know, being open. <laughs> but then they build fences. They all complained about Donald Trump building the wall along the Mexican border. But here's all these Democrats with fences. <laughs> Explain that to me. Hypocrites. Every damn last one of them. Hypocrites.
I mean, uh, uh, these liberals hate Trump so much that, as I say, if, if he came, if he announced a cure for cancer, people would still hate him. <laughs> that's that's liberals. <laughs> But I hate to see Kamala Harris in the White House because I think during the next four years there's going to be a big superpower conflict. I think the sun is coming out. Hey, weren't we just down this road? <laughs> That's a nice house. I like the window. That's nice. It's all Democrats, this entire neighborhood. They all have blue voting signs, blue campaign signs. It's no wonder why I'm a little nauseous. Ooh. Okay, I think we're back on Craig Street. Going down. Hmm, put a seatbelt on. <laughs> Nothing like seeing a kid in the back of a minivan and he doesn't have seatbelt on. <laughs> wow. Nice little house. Getting a little dark. Coming up on Cedar, Cedar Street. Really can't see the colors, kind of like getting dark out. Hold up. City of Rome should start enforcing speed limits in this neighborhood in the daytime. They don't do much else. Sorry if that comment offends anybody. Oh my God, we got a Trump sign. Like I said, I always wanted to see a house that has a Trump sign and then the neighbor right next to it would have a that's a big house. It's a nice house. Like a neighbor that has a Trump sign and then his neighbor right next to him has a Kamala Harris sign. <laughs> Who knows, maybe they're best of friends, I mean. <laughs> or family members. <laughs> That's a nice color. Kind of like a uh, bluish gray. I like that. Joe Griffo. Yes, Joe Griffo is still our state senator and he gets reelected because, well, he's a senior senator in the state legislature, but uh, <laughs> he needs replacing. This is St. John's Lutheran Church. Good cutting across chestnut. But yeah, uh, Senator Griffo, he, def he definitely needs to be replaced. Of course, I would end up making this area not important because he'd be a junior senator, but uh, <laughs> like I said, that's why these old farts keep getting reelected. They don't do anything. They always talk about change, but they change nothing. It's because of their seniority and senior politicians always get a county or a state or a city or a village the most amount of money <laughs> you 
This is uh, St. Paul's. Yeah, St. Paul's Catholic Church. If I get the church's name wrong, don't shoot me. <laughs> Big brick house. Cypress Street. This is what we're on. We're on Cypress Street. Carroll Street. Yeah. We'll go to save a lot. Otherwise, I'm going to be way out of time to do anything. Oh, that's right. We got to go that way. Okay, we'll go to all these. Uh, uh. Do do. I have no idea where I am. Look at those shrubs. <laughs> now that's a fence. Oh, I see Trump signs. <sighs> hey, man. Breaking away. Jump. That's one of my, he's watching Fox News. Wow, look at that dog. West Chestnut and Bedford Street. Birch trees. You never see birch trees anymore in Rome, New York. They're, or anywhere in New York. They're kind of a dying brew. Wow, that's some garden. I like that. If I ever have time next year, or the funding, that's what I want to do with my backyard, is kind of turn it into a small shrubbery forest, you know. A few different varieties of shrubs, flowers, less grass to mow. Cedar Street. <laughs> I just like the big trees in the neighborhoods. <laughs> kind of epic. Huh. Weren't we just on this road again? Yeah, maybe not. See what I mean? There's a poster for Marianne Buttonscon and She's just a kiss-ass for uh, Governor Hotchell. That's a nice house. Yeah, I like that. Like I said, they could do some speed enforcement around 